new on the night beat. Within six months of being released from prison, a Bear County man is back behind bars tonight. We told you at five, Michael Benitez served time for shooting a Bear County Sheriff's deputy back in 2001. And tonight, we're learning much more about him. The night team's Bill Barajas taking a closer look at Benitez's history going back 18 years. And in tonight's Crime Fighters report, Bill found at least one neighbor who isn't surprised about the arrest. In and out of jail since 1997, booked into the Bear County Sheriff's Office 10 times. These, just a few of Michael Benitez's mug shots. The latest one, taken last night. He had been in prison for that shooting that injured one of our deputies. He's only been out since December. He has proven to society that he's not capable of functioning without committing crimes. Benitez was picked up yesterday at a home on the 2400 block of Texas. In his possession, deputies say more than a pound of methamphetamine and cocaine. Deputies also said they found a loaded 40 caliber semi-automatic handgun. Rosie Montoya lives nearby. Coming from this area now, no, it doesn't surprise me. What well, surprises me is that we didn't hear nothing, you know, that there was cops around here arresting somebody. Benitez now covered in tattoos, has a laundry list of charges, including debating arrests, possession of marijuana, and he served 12 years on a 29-year sentence for aggravated assault on a peace officer. He was released in December. This is somebody who has demonstrated that he is not scared of law enforcement and he's willing to pull out a gun and shoot an officer if he has to. Montoya says her family has lived in the area for 30 years, but watch it slowly decline. She refuses to even go out at night. I'll hear cops on the loudspeaker talking about put the knife down and whatnot. But like I said, during the day, for the most part, it's a quiet neighborhood, but at night, it's, it's not so quiet. And Benitez is currently being held here at the Central Texas Detention Center. Again, he's being held on federal drug and weapon charges. Live in downtown, Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.